What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I got a special guest over here. Look at him. Look at him. I don't know where he's looking off to, but the rhino is, has arrived. Hey buddy. How you doing, man? Oh, you know. Long time no see. Hanging out. Just standing in the sun here because up in the mountains it's freezing. I was going to say, why? What's wrong with you, man? Well, you yeah. the, I see you got goosebumps and I everything. Live, I live down by the beach. It's nice and warm. And then I come up here to the Appalachians. There's and a it's chill. freezing, bro. Well, see here though, you got to remember, you know, we might get you to move out here. No, that is true. That is true. Because well, keep in mind, pack an extra work forward apparel sweatshirt. There you go. Come out here. I there you go. It today. There you go. Link will be down in the description right there. And uh, well, uh, today I noticed that you brought you brought your work truck, your farm truck. That's right. This here is my my black. Was it black, gray, silver? This I don't know. My Gun metal. Twenty fifteen and a half. I don't even know 15 and a half. No that's good. Here. That's good. Yeah, I think yeah, it's, it is a 15 and a half. Fox coilover conversion CST BDS. BDS <laughs> in the front. <laughs> Some fuel wheel. The, I'm going to rip the fuel wheels off. There you go. Yeah, you're not a fan of fuel. Now, running some Toyo RTs. Uh, those 35s? Uh, the 35s? Yeah, yeah, 35s. Yeah, 35. you know, I, just, I decided I'd bring this up here for you guys to check out today. Nice. You know. And then uh, I spotted that thing on the way, so I decided I'd pick that truck up too. What is that? We'll bring that thing up here. Whoa! That is a good looking farm truck you got there. Right, well I figured, you know, since I saw you were working here on the farm today. Yes. Uh, as you can tell by all the mud that is all yes. over the driveway. Yep, oh yeah. I, I decided I'd bring the farm truck as well, in case we gotta do some work, you know? Oh, okay, okay. Well, but she sure looks good. Thanks, buddy. But can this thing actually tow? Of course you can tow. What did you do to your truck to help it tow better? Added airbags. Okay. I did the same thing. Oh, okay. They're just a little bigger. He's got, he's got a good point there. Uh, if you guys want to see that video of uh, D-Max Rhino's truck towing, I will put his link down in the description for you guys. But on my channel here, in this video, I want to see how this truck does with you know these 40s on it, being that the GMCs come stock with a 373 gear ratio. I'm curious to know, you know, how this thing, number one, is going to pull the trailer, but I'm curious to know RPM range, uh, you know, how long it takes to shift compared to my truck. So on my truck, I can cruise this thing six gear, you know, still have plenty of power to get up and go, no problem. Uh, this, well, I, I guess uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to see here because being it's a 373 and now on 40s, this thing is down to probably like, if I had to guess, a 318 maybe you know maybe lower uh so i'm not sure uh how this thing's gonna do let alone i do want to see if this truck can actually pick this trailer up without me having to you know drop it or lift it manually uh with the electric jack so my blue uh tractor that uh as you guys remember we got for free and that thing uh, i put a hitch on the back of it i tried to lift the tongue up and that thing would not even lift it I understand it's not a big crazy tractor, uh, nothing fancy, but it did not lift this trailer at all. Uh, it didn't even budge it. So we'll see how strong uh, this, what is it, the ultimate air ride, right? Ultimate air ride. Where, where are you going, dude? I don't see. You're actually uh, getting some work done. Yeah, we're getting some work done over here. Don't don't fall. I'm trying not to step under new plants. Yeah, but we're, we're getting some work done. And uh, yeah, I want to see how his uh, ultimate air ride, if it's, you know, ultimate. Uh, and if it is the uh, air ride of the uh, the year, I guess you can you can say that. But you you can view that on his channel. But we're gonna check the gearing and see uh, how this thing compares and pulls and uh, how we're even gonna get out of the driveway. We should try it. I think you can do it. We'll make it. I think you can do it. We'll try and see. Uh, guys, before I finish this video, I'll show you a little sneak peek. Just quick, boom, boom. Uh oh. Um, Wow, all I can say is wow uh, on this truck. I am, um, go to D-Max's page and you'll see it. I'm, I'm wild so far. All right, so as you guys seen from my last video, you know the RPM range. Uh, you know, you know, I towed with this with the new gear. So you guys know what this thing, you know, tows at, uh, when it shifts. You know, when this thing shifts now, it shifts and boom, it's got, you know, power right there. It goes. Um, well, Ryan's truck, we're going to try it out and see you here real quick. But... I want to, uh, right now, we're, we're warming my truck up. Well, not yet, but we're going to do a little cold start. Um, well, I mean, it's... Well, I told Eddie... 62. Just, just start warming your truck up now because it's about a 
45 minute process for him to warm his truck up before he'll no, move it. No, it's so. not 45. And you guys that tell me, Eddie, why do you sit there so long and let it warm up? Okay, well, I don't let it sit for that long and warm up because it's not good to let these things idle for that long when you have low oil pressure. If you're gonna let it sit for an excessive amount of time idling, bump your high idle switch up so you have oil pressure because that's very one. important. If you're yeah, correct, if you have one. Uh, Ryan, yeah, he doesn't have one. My truck, um, I didn't order it. It just, I don't know, I guess I got lucky and it came with it. Um, but that's important. And I just let it idle warm up because as you guys know, these things don't like to run cold. Uh, you know, especially like if you're in the snow, sometimes you gotta put like that cover over the grill uh, to heat this thing up because when they run cold, it will start to sputter on you. Here, I know in California, it's like, I don't know, What are you talking about, bro? If the mountains are blue, it's cold. Oh, correct. The yeah, mountains, mountains are, are blue. blue. Man, it is frosty out here. It's cold. Yeah, it's a little cold up here where I live. Where Ryan lives, it's a little warmer. He uh, he pulled up and he had goosebumps and everything it's on him. It's a little cold up here. Yeah, so um, I just, you know, let it idle for a little bit. Not not too crazy, but um, we'll we're going to, yeah, do a little, uh, I guess, semi-cold start. Semi-cold start. Okay, there you can take the camera for me. All right, here you go, buddy. Thank you. And we're going to uh, fire an old bad girl up over here. Did you plug it in last night? I did, I had it plugged in, yeah, it keep her nice and warm. Okay, because it gets cold in this garage. It does, it was about like 65 degrees last night in the garage when we were working on the razors. And gotcha, stuff. there you go. But what do you think about this? Dude, look at this, CNC machine. I'm thinking about getting a CNC machine. You put hook your plasma cutter to, put my plasma cutter. What's, uh, what's the size, what's the table size? It's not that big, it is uh, 25 by 23. Ooh. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe a little smaller. Feel like a, I think like a four foot by four foot would be well, pretty sweet. Well, I was thinking maybe a little bigger one, yeah, because I want to start, uh, you know, seeing, seeing some uh, some of our parts in case we need it. I mean, we need a bigger garage. We do, we do. That's for sure, for sure. <laughs> and uh, hopefully when Ryan buys a house next week, he's going to buy a house with a massive garage. Yeah, hopefully. Because uh, Ryan has a We're lot on the hunt. of crap We're on the hunt. Store. Yeah, I don't know if... I had a massive garage. If there'd be any room for your stuff by the time I fill it with my stuff. Prob you're probably right. Hopefully, I'd be able to get something in there, but we'll see. By the time Ryan gets his toy hauler in there, his Can-Am in there, his oh, truck, oh, you know. I gotta buy a new house with a big garage and buy all the toys, too? Well, yeah. When you it's real easy to spend that. my money, isn't it, Eddie? Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I can spend everybody's money. There's no problem. That's the easy part. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So, uh, Ryan's truck is hooked up right now to the toy hauler here. Now, what I want to see I, when my truck, when mine's hooked up and I hook it, I can literally let go of the brake and the truck will pull the toy hauler without me having to give hardly any gas at all. I can literally let go and this thing will start rolling. Uh, Ryan is getting ready to take off here. So I want to see, uh, you know, if he's got to give gas or if he can just let go of the brake and this thing is going to start to roll. Are you ready? All right. I got some, somebody here. You can say hi to YouTube. Mr. Alkalator. All right, we'll call you right back, Alkalator. But all right, go ahead, Ryan. Uh, let go of the gas, or let uh, let go of the gas. Let go of the brake. Got it. Careful, it might roll away real fast. No, no problem. Did, did you let go of the brake? Let go of the brake. You let go? let go. He's not moving. All right, give a little gas and see what happens. Okay, so 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 it looks like he's got to uh, give a little gas just to get this thing rolling. Which that's, that's not bad. It's no no big deal. But I mean, as you guys see right there, the difference. I mean, look, he's just stopped, and, and this thing just stopped right now. So just from that little bit having these 40s, and not saying this thing can't pull it, but I mean, that's a difference right there when you have you know a higher gear ratio. How it will just. Literally, you let go of the gas and start pulling this trailer. And he's barely on the gas right now. This isn't that bad. The main test is gonna be when he starts to get up on the road and uh, <coughs> and uh, start actually pulling this thing and let's see you know, what it can do. All right, guys, so we're in Ryan's truck right now. Uh, well, let's uh, see how, just how much gas he's really gotta give to get out of my driveway. Uh, with my truck, you know, I can let go of the brake and it will almost idle up my entire driveway without me touching the gas. Uh, my driveway's not that steep. I mean, as you guys know, it's a little inclined. I don't know, what would you say? It's Two decent. degrees? It's a decent slope. It's, it's not, not too bad. But let's uh, 
let's see what this thing can do, man. All right, so obviously right now I'm not touching anything. Feed her off the uh, gas and brake. And we're not moving. And we'll just give it a little bit here. Oh yeah, a little, little over 750 oh, RPMs. Yeah, 750 to eight and we're moving. We're moving, we're moving. Not bad, not bad. We're towing the big ding ding back there. I'm getting hungry. You hungry, you wanna get some lunch while we're towing? Go in the back of the trailer and uh, cook me something. There's no food back there yet, man. Oh, geez. yeah. All right, now we're getting to the steeper part of the driveway. So here, yeah, we've hit the ink. Oh, starting to pull now. Okay. So I would say you're. Okay, you're almost. Oh, all right. So you're almost 14, 13. Wow. So this thing, this thing, gotta, you gotta give some gas to get her moving. <laughs> Make sure he don't uh, hit nothing, smack him or anything. It's important. Eddie bought the worst, uh, or bought a house on the worst street here for pulling trailers in and out. <laughs> you got a telephone pole, a giant rock, a like that, <laughs> Jeez, buddy. All right. First obstacle avoided. Well, let's let's get that's, out on that's the That's good. Road. Let's yeah. Let's see what happens uh, when we get out and get going. All right, guys, we're here at the stop sign. Let's see. Uh, well, actually, since we're on flat ground, like really flat, just let off the brake and nope, nothing. Wow. Okay, we got nothing still. Well, here he goes. Now keep in mind, I'm still in the street tune. I didn't put it into the tow tune. Well, let's put in the tow tune. Well, I don't know what the tow tune is. The tow tune is number three. Why are you pulling over? Well, because I got to reach in there. I'll grab it. I got to right, put it on. All right, so let's go three right there. We're in tow tune. There you go. Now we're making it fair for everybody. Let's do it. We just got back on the freeway right now. Uh, we have not hit the grade yet. We're about to hit the grade right over here. And well, let's see uh, what old uh, Dirty Max or D Max uh, Rhino can do over here. It's the BBB, bro. The BBB, B D B B. There you go. Now, mind yourself, guys. I go up this in about fifth gear, 2,000 RPM, just cruising. What uh, what gear are you in here? So let's see. Fourth gear. All right, we're in fourth gear. Currently going up this grade. Uh, well, we're at. What are you at? I'd say 17. Now, are you on the throttle a lot? I'm about three quarter throttle right now. Three quarters. Can you give it a little more? I'll give it a little bit more. Doesn't change much, but I'll give it a little bit more. Okay, I say, was there any change? So we're going up the grade right now. Now we're in tow haul mode. To, I mean, or we're in tow mode with the tune. I would put the, I would just leave it in street if it were me, to be honest okay. with you. And I mean, but look, I mean, we were at 55 back there. We're 60, and we're still we're gaining we're speed. We're climbing, all right. So it's uh, not like we're dropping speed, and it's actually getting steeper up here. Let it go into the uh, let it go into fifth. So put it in drive, and see if it'll automatically go into fifth. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't want to go into fifth. So there's another thing, guys. The difference. So when my truck hits that, you know, two to 2100, I my truck will shift into fifth, and it will continue to pull the hill. Uh, this truck is pulling this hill no problem, but it doesn't want to get out of fourth. So it looks like this sweet spot on this truck uh, coming up here is in full fourth gear. Yeah, I mean, we're 65 and climbing still, and we're still going up the grade, so. We're going to hit another grade up here uh, that's a little steeper and a little longer. Uh, we usually don't go this far. I told Ryan, keep going past the exit. He's like, whoa, what do you mean past the exit? <laughs> so we're, we're going to the dunes. Yeah, we're, we're on the 80s. We're, we're going, going to Can-Am. What more do we need? That's a, good, that's a good point. I mean, the water, it's full of water. Yeah, let's go. We can just stop in El Central and get food. I'm happy. Well, you're, you're still going to cook for me, right? Yeah, yeah, we got the barbecue in there. All right, perfect. All right. Well, um, maybe we'll get Ryan out this weekend. I, I, I don't know. So we're going down a hill, and I want to see if this thing is going to shift into fifth gear. Put it back in drive. Yeah. So a little more gas. Okay, so this thing does not want to get out of fourth gear, guys. She this, likes fourth. What's this like, yeah, this truck likes fourth gear, and I would assume because now we're taking this exit. Nope, we're gonna keep going. We're not exiting. Yeah, keep we're going. going. We're going to keep the tunes, going. buddy. Keep going, dude. We're going. We're there's another grade up here 
that I want this truck to hit while uh, you know we're doing the test. We gotta we gotta show the people. But uh, yeah, as of right now, um, she loves fourth gear, and she will not get out of fourth. So I'm guessing your fourth gear's pretty long, man. What do they say in fucking uh, dirt biking, bro? You're gonna hit that jump, you know? Fourth gear pin. Well, usually it's like fifth or sixth pin. I know, but like I don't I don't do like 180 foot. Oh, you know? okay, all right. Seventy That's acceptable. You know, That's fine. Head. That's acceptable. Yeah. All right, climbing, getting ready to pass Viejas. Reno, you think you can pass the semi? I think I could. Okay. Let's see. Uh, man, this thing is it's smooth. Right. I mean, smooth. considering how bad California roads are, this is smooth. All right, we're going for the pass. Here we goes. Are you going to uh, like tunnel them first? We're like, what's the tunnel? No, there ain't no. There ain't no. Uh oh. There's no. She, she uh -oh. shifted into fifth. We don't this, want fifth. This is what I want to see. Oh, Ooh. she went back in the fourth. Oh yeah, you should see the black smoke that came out when she did. Well, you guys will see that on Ryan's channel with the GoPro. Okay, so this thing, that's exactly what I wanted to see, guys. So I go up this at fifth gear, you know, just nonstop. But I'm fifth gear, I'm at about 1800 RPMs. Uh, cruising up this, not really on the gas. Oh, she just went to fifth. Okay, so you're fifth. Ooh, look at the smoke. Oh, shit. So you're, you're on the gas. Oh yeah, well we're trying to pull up the hill, buddy. Okay, well no, that that's the goal though. That's that's my main thing. Why I want to make the video for the, everybody here is because this thing looks like it does not like fifth gear. Nope. No. Okay. So, and you're at fourth. Is that what? Are you, oh, there we go. She went into fifth again. Right, we're getting off. We're getting okay, right? <laughs> Ryan's not we're liking off. this. We're exiting here. My test is done. This this is actually the exit, so it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. So as you guys see there, you know. Regearing your truck because some of you guys told me, oh, Eddie, I regeared mine, it didn't make a difference. I don't know what happened in that situation, why it didn't make a difference, but it should because I can go up this hill in almost sixth gear. Um, the RPM will be low, but yeah, about 14, 15. But my truck likes going up in fifth, and you know, it's about about 1800, and there's still plenty of torque for me to give that gas and get up and go. As you guys saw there with Ryan, when his truck shifted into fifth gear, it looked like a chimney behind us. Hey, look, there's a Ford broken down. Uh, well, I mean, that's an F-150 Raptor. Still broken down. Yeah, well, he's not broken down. We don't know if he's broken down, uh, technically. Fall, look, the engine fell out. The engine fell out. <laughs> so, Ryan's truck, it, it blew a massive cloud of smoke out of there. Better check that out, too, if I get that fixed. Oh, okay, yeah, well, something fell off in Mexico one time. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, and pretty much this thing does not like fifth gear. It will not pull that hill in fifth gear. All right, guys, well, as you see, we have made it back. This thing, it towed good. It did not have any issues towing, but as you guys saw, it did not like fifth gear. It will not go up that hill in fifth. Uh, when uh, Ryan tried to pass that semi, it automatically shifted into fifth gear, and then, well, you guys will see on uh, Ryan's video, a nice black cloud of smoke came, and Ryan said it, it didn't want, didn't like it, didn't want to go, and it downshifted back into fourth. That's all we got for you guys. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Peace. Yeah.